all you prospectors out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Icarus. Uh, I'm going to do, this is my level 21 character, and uh, I am going to do, I think, this Argos Exploration. Now this is, there's no real objectives. Uh, it gives you a chance just to kind of explore around and, and level up. And I'm just going to go down there and kind of show you what I kind of like to do to get started on a, a mission that I figure, you know, what seems to work best for me so far. And so we're going to choose the Argos Exploration. According to the UDA, you qualify for open access to this region. How about that? So, what well, means just there's no particular mission objectives. We just get to go down there and explore around in the area. Now, you have several different options now. They've been slowly updating the game with new options. Uh, you can do it on hardcore, which increases the rewards. In this case, there's no rewards, uh, but it does increase the difficulty. Uh, you have uh, medium or easy, which is... A minus 50%, so if you want to do that, you can. You can get insurance, which will uh, protect your character if you haven't been able to pull it out. It doesn't protect your gear, but it does protect your level of your character. So let's go ahead and claim this. I always play on medium. It's just the way I like to play. And we're going to uh, do our loadout. Uh, we got our suit. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, uh, carry weight. Actually, we want this backpack, this bow, uh, this pickaxe. This is one of the advantages of having a couple of characters. I've uh, built up my other character, so I've been able to buy some stuff out of the workshop. And you can share this uh, with each of your characters. Now, I want to go ahead and put this one in. Since I don't have the talent to track animals, and I can show you what that will be when we get down on the ground. Uh, get the good knife. Uh, let's see, one other. Uh, let's, uh, let's just do the carry weight. So uh, that module... If you're playing with uh, multi-people, then this is a good module. I didn't realize what it would do, so I thought I could place waypoints. And I wasn't able to figure that out. So, uh, But then I've got a couple, few other things here. But yeah, that's what we're going to go with <clears throat> our loadout. Let's confirm it. And I always put it on private. Click yes. So this just gives us an opportunity to explore and build. You've got 30 days <clears throat> real time or uh, uh, game time. So you could really building in the environment and really kind of get a feel for it and give you a chance to really help level up. All right, start putting some of this stuff in place that there, put that there, put that there. I always like to have my pickaxe, my axe, my knife, and my bow. And here we are. Welcome back. You helped open this region up for the UDA. It's yours to do whatever you want. Enjoy it while it lasts. Okay. So the first thing I like to do since I have the canteen is go down and get a drink and take my chances of... Oh, we got a wolf already. We're going to... Let's go ahead and take out that wolf. Because that's going to give us the bedroll. Let's get over here. There we go. And 
We'll grab that. So that starts to give us the fur that we need to get our bedroll built. I like to do that since I have the camp stove. We get the bedroll built. Then we can set our spawn point and that also gives us the opportunity to uh, bypass the nightfall or sleep at night. And we didn't get botulism so that should hold us over for quite a little bit. Uh, I haven't uh, made a... haven't really picked anything up yet, so we can't really build anything like arrows and stuff, but let's start doing that. We'll start getting some sticks. And in this, we're going to go up, up to a cave. I know where there's a couple of caves that we can uh, build in front of. And then we can kind of just start doing a lot of other other stuff around here. Again, this mission is good for leveling up. If you can... Like I'm at level 21, so if I could level up to a level 25, just uh, utilizing or taking advantage of learning all the different stuff. So let's see here. Crafting... Uh, I do not have that unlocked yet. Uh, okay, that's fine. We'll just start gathering it by hand. That's one of the things that uh, I've gotten so used to having all of the all everything at my disposal with my other character. So I kind of forget what I need to can do here. For the longest time, I did not unlock the thrashing uh, or the harvesting uh, uh, tool. And once I did, it really makes a lot of difference. Let's, uh, one thing I do do though, let's grab a few more rocks. I always still make a stone tool, uh, like a pickaxe, ma mainly the pickaxe, and use it. It helps pre save the wear and tear on my uh, one I brought down from the Orbiter Space Station. So we're going to need this as I'm working my way up towards cave that I want to go ahead and build on. And I don't know if there's any... Well, actually, there probably isn't, because I haven't unlocked them with this character. So there's no exotics to grab at this point. And if I see some sulfur, I'll grab it along the way. Uh, we might as well grab some of this. We're not going to need very much of it for right now. Alright, that's enough. There's our sulfur. Once we get... We'll have the oxide and the sulfur. Like I said, I like to save my other tool for the iron and stuff like that. There we go. Alright. If we see another wolf along the way, we'll probably want to try to take it out. But we're going to head on up here. I know that there's a cave along the way. And so we're, that's where we're going to set up camp. And once I get up to it, I will uh, catch back up with you all. 
Okay, I am approaching the cave. Right, should be right here. Uh, this should be it. Yeah, we can pick through this, so we're not going to just yet. What I want to do is clear out. Now, a lot of guys build inside the cave. I don't like doing that. My preference is to build just outside the cave. I do utilize the cave for some stuff. Because uh, you can put uh, some of your... Uh, like your smelter and anvil and stuff like that in there. And that uh, gives you... more space so you don't necessarily have to build a big huge uh, uh, cabin or survival box to survive in so let's we do need to get uh, this uh, deployed uh, let me chop down a tree here real quick I think this one right here we want it out of the way get a little bit of firewood here. Let's get that meat cooking. Uh, put that in there. Activate. There we go. Alright. Alright, once I get this chopped up and ready to start kind of building my little shack, I'll catch back up with you. Alright, I am back. I'm about ready to start uh, building, but I did go and uh, take out a couple of more wolves. So we should have, we do have plenty to make our bedroll. Uh, we also got some stringy meat, so that's pretty good stuff. Uh, we actually should eat one of these, and we'll go ahead and grab, pull that stuff over. Uh, I put the stringy meat in, let it get started cooking first, because that's pretty valuable stuff. It, it gives you, like, the uh, prime meat modifier, and so it really gives you a, a, a lot of extra uh, uh, buffs, so... Let me put that over here. Actually, I need to consume some of that. We'll put that right there. Get that stuff there. And that's kind of how I like to set that up. And now, let's... Uh, I need to get uh, start getting uh, a little shack built. So this is what I like to start with. Just a little quick... Uh... 2 by one box, basically. Uh, and then... And then that gives me enough to get uh, started uh, doing a few things inside, getting my crafting bench, stuff like that going. So let's uh, go ahead and... Uh, let's... Uh, get uh, six walls. Oh, I'm going to need some more wood. Alright, let's get those crafting. I can get the floors down. And that's right there. I think about right there will be good. We'll go ahead and get these deployed out of the... There. And... There. Okay. All right. I'm going to chop some more trees down. Uh, I'll get the rest of the little box built and catch back up with you when I'm about ready to, to finish that box. Okay. I am just about got the, the, the house finished here. I'm just putting the last few pieces up. 
that into place there. Get that right there. Now you hold R down. That gives you the ability to change your components that you're putting in. And as I always do, I always forget to make a wood door, which I need a little more wood for that. So let me grab a little more wood here. Uh, of course, no shelter. And we'll come back and get the rest of that tree here in a moment. I am going to need it. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and chop quite a bit of it up right now because I'm going to need it for my oxidizer, which that was the reason I picked up that oxite and the sulfur. So I want to get enough to make that. And then we can make our bedroll and get our spawn point put into place. There we go. That should be good. Let's get up here. Uh, actually, I need to get more of that meat onto the fire. That's done. We can get this cooking. And grab this stuff. Let's hop in here. Out of the weather. Alright. Uh, we need to build a crafting bench. Where is it? Oh, I need a few more stone. Well, shoot. Let's uh, grab a few more stones here. Actually, let's just start uh, getting it off the wall over here. So, you'll want to slowly work your way through here. These are good places to, to take refuge, except you've got to deal with the cave worms. And we will deal with that here in a little bit. But I want to do get this done. I gotta get uh, the crafting table and then the oxygen uh, oxidizer built. So let's get this built. And here. Okay. Uh, let's deploy it. Now I got a specific way I put this in here since it's tight on space I put this in as close as I can get everything now let's get our oxidizer built then we can get our uh, oxygen going here so that we're get our oxygen tank filled up all right, let's pull this down. And I always put it right here. Uh, inventory, let's pull this out. Ooh, I do need more. Well, we'll get started here. Let's pull that in. Pull that in, and we can put this in here. We'll get enough oxygen out of this just to refill our O2. And that's good for the moment. Do this real quick. Throw this in. And there we go. All right, we can let the tank finish filling. Kind of always baffled me that, that I can come down from a space station and not have a full tank of oxygen. We're going to use the good pick for this so that we can get quite a bit of oxide out of this. Grab this one. That should give us enough to fill up our tank. 
Grab those. All right. All right, let's get this uh, in here. All right, we'll let that get going. The other thing that we've got to build, I got a couple of more things to build here. Uh, let's build this. And we need to get our bedroll built. So let's go ahead and craft that. And with that, we can, I can go ahead and deploy the bedroll. There, and then we can set our spawn point. There we go. All right, so we'll respawn here if we run into a problem somewhere along the way. All right, I think. Here, let me get the door on here. Now, I don't like to necessarily. This is just not a permanent structure. This is actually one that I will carry with me if I'm traveling around and I need to be able to set things up. What I want to do is be able to get the stone. And that is going to require getting in and getting ore and stuff like that. So let me show you. Uh, I have here where I can make a smelter uh, anvil bench, and I should be able to make my masonry bench. That can get me to stone real quick. And then I have the textiles bench, which I will get to that. Uh, but right now we're in a fairly benign climate, so I'm not going to worry about the textiles bench just yet. So, well, one of the things I do need to do, though, is make a few arrows. Uh, let's, uh, make about ten of them. We got the bone arrows. Uh, this sofa and this stuff here, we can store into the crafting bench. Actually put it down here. Uh, I can't quite, I need some more stone for that. We'll get that. Might as well put that over here. The fur we can put over here. We're not going to need it, really. Let's some of that. And let's uh, eat some of that prime. And you can kind of see how that really gives us the buffs. Actually, let me get back into the inventory. And there you can see we've got the cooked prime meat. Uh, the berries and, and the cooked meat. And those are usually the main ones I go with. All right. This meat should be done. We can deactivate this. Put that right there. All right. Oh, uh, and then the next thing that I typically like to do, I guess, at this point is start uh, working on that cave and we're also here in a position that we don't have to work through the the night we can uh, kind of peck through this a little bit and once I kind of get through here I will uh, catch back up with you all all right, I've managed to get through the stone wall here, and the first thing we want to do is we're going to have to clear out the cave. So I've, I actually I made a wood rag torch, and I threw it over here into the lantern slot so that uh, my hands are free, but I still have some light in here. So we're going to deal with cave worms in here. There's one right there. Oh, damn it. I missed. Uh-oh. For some reason, I didn't cock properly. All right, this stuff can be a little bit nasty, but having that extra buffs really helps a lot. Let's see if we can 
get our arrows. Alright, that one must be blocked. So, we're getting a little bit of a break here. There he is. Oh. That was head on. Wasn't real thrilled about taking that one. Direct hit. There should be a couple more in here. There's one there, and there's one up there, and splash damage, I get tired of that splash damage, but we've managed to get them out, we can eat some meat to help with our health, alright, try to gather up our stuff. that I don't worry about the about these I just leave them there it doesn't do you any good especially at this stage of the game uh, I think at this point it's time to run back outside uh oh I heard another one pop up uh, I like to run back outside and kind of reset my uh, dampness, uh, debuff. Oh, there's another one right there. Alright. There's usually about five, six, or seven of... of those cave worms in here. And you can see that they're not too bad as long as you... Oh, this has a deep, deep mining uh, core thing that we can do. There we go. I think that should just about clear these guys out. Ah, uh, my arrows are gone. All right. So, I see iron and gold and aluminum, which is what we're going to be able to use in here. So that's, that's what I do in clearing out the caves. And, of course, it's night, and I haven't made a grass skirt. Oh, and i got to grab my... So let's do this. Uh... Need to grab this out of here. And let's put this into place. Uh, we better fire this thing up so we can at least get rid of the chill. So that's done that while we're doing that. Normally I'm trying to get it. Actually, let's do that. We've got that going. Let's go ahead and let's turn in for the night. And now it's 7 a.m. in the morning. That way we don't have to deal with that darkness. And one thing that we'll want to do is we can deactivate this. It's going to lean towards the chill side, but we should be okay. All right, I am going to craft a textiles bench. And we got enough stuff to do that. We're probably going to have to do a little more hunting. Because we're going to need more leather. And so let's put this down. And then we can make a leather, leather armor. That seems to be pretty good armor for right here. Again, you can see I'm getting this really nice and tight in here. And, yeah, so we want to be able to make our leather armor. All right. So let's do a little bit of hunting.
I thought that deer would turn around and come back. They usually do. Let's let him get up here a little bit closer. There we go. Okay, when I am about ready to, once I get to the point of making my leather armor, I'll catch back up with you all. Okay, I think I have enough leather now to make my leather armor. So let's uh, go ahead and get that made. Uh, let's uh, craft that. That. Oh, maybe not enough leather. Oh, I need more fiber. Let's craft that. And I need to go pick some fiber. Let me do that real quick. Okay, let's see if that's enough now. Alright, so... Yeah, that should have enough. There we go. And... Alright. So, let's... Uh, grab all of these. And then we will... Put... Put them into our inventory or put them on that on that on there we go now so this gives us a, a plus one percent health regeneration and stamina regeneration with the full uh, suit on it also gives us a plus five percent against cold resistance and it gives us a three percent plus three against exposure resistance and a plus six against physical resistance so it's a pretty good suit for here in the forest biome. Uh, bears, you just got to stealth around them. They are, unless, you're, unless you've got a lake close by, I try to avoid bears as much as possible. Uh, all right. Now, here's one of the things I do. So I got my suit made. I don't have anything in here. So here's what I do. Since there's not a lot of room here, I pick that up and I store it in the crafting bench. And so I'll just put it right down here like this. So if I need it, again, I have it, but that's usually about it for, for me right now. Uh, you also make the ghillie suit there. So once you get to that point, uh, that's the, the bench that you use to make your ghillie suit. If you get all the way up to your hunter suit, that you make that at the... Uh, on the metal bench but I wanted to get all the way through to making a stone shelter here and that'll probably about be about it for the video so I'm going to let me uh, uh, put uh, get going on that I got to do some mining uh, so I will be back with you when I'm starting to make my some of my other benches Okay, I'm back for a moment here. I did get my stone furnace built, and I did do a little bit of mining here for iron ore. So we're going to get that going, and then we'll just go ahead and throw some wood in there and activate that. So that's going to get our iron ingots going so that we can uh, build our anvil, which is made in at the crafting bench. So, I am going to continue to uh, do some more mining, and when I'm ready to make that anvil, I'll uh, catch back up with you. Okay, I am back. I have enough to make the anvil. 
as you can see, we've got a windstorm coming up. So I made a wood repair hammer just in case. So let's go in here and get that anvil made. Craft that. And let's see what we need for the mason's bench. Oh, we need the nails and the rope. So that's going to take a lot of fiber. Uh, so let's... Uh, Let's see how much of this we can make right now. Yeah, might as well get started. There's three more. Let's grab the anvil. We'll put it down here. And again, you can see utilizing the cave, this kind of stuff can just kind of get set up in here. So we can deploy this anvil right here kind of out of the way. There we go. And I know we need nails, so we might as well grab more iron. And I still got more iron to mine in here. So let's go ahead and get the nails started. I know I need 120 of those. Let's go ahead and get those crafting. All right. Well, it looks like this windstorm hasn't been bad enough to cause damage to this. So, let's see. Let's get started collecting for our mason's bench. Uh, basically, we got everything. We got the nails making. I just need to grab fiber, so... Uh, I'll tell you what, once I am ready and I have everything, we'll get the mason's bench and we'll get started building on our stone, uh, stone building. Okay, I think I am just about got all of my stone pieces. I'm going to make the last of these. Uh, I need more nails? Oh, yeah. That's right, I was crafting them. I should have them already made. Alright, let's grab those. Uh, get our four pieces. While those are crafting, I'll step out and reset. And I am getting very, very close to leveling up, which is kind of the purpose of, of going into this particular mission. So, let me see. Let me start grabbing this stuff. There's my pillars, my floors, my walls, my roof. And, of course, I am overweight, but that's okay. We're not going very far. And my corners. Now, I am going to build right here. I should be able to get it to fit right kind of alongside this. Then we can kind of take this building down. So, let's do this. Let's get that deployed right there. That and that. And then Deploy these so we have support. And there we go. Now I got two more pe floors. Let's go ahead and get those other two deployed. There and there. And then let's get these deployed. That way we have support. And then let's hop up here and get our walls and should be able to get rid of some of this weight. Let's 
Let's uh, rotate that. There we go. go and then our roof Let's deploy those Put those there 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 and there and then we can deploy that that Let me make a door real quick. I just used the wooden door. Let's deploy that. There we go. We now have a fairly secure building that, that is pretty much impervious to the weather. And what we can do now is move all of this stuff over. And once I get this moved over, then I'll catch back up with you, and then we're probably going to call the video about good right here. But this kind of shows you what we are doing getting started. Be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back, and I just about got things all set up over here. Uh, I got my crafting bench and my bedroll. I like to put my bedroll right there. It's just pretty much out of the way, and I can still have access to my bench. Uh, a couple of things I've done here is I've used this for storage. So there's my textiles bench and my oxide dissolver. Uh, this I will pull out because I'll be using it. And I'll show you where I like to put it, which is pretty convenient actually. Uh, let me deploy it. And it will set right on your crafting bench right there like that. So you can do that and then that kind of gives you access to that uh, on materials that you'll need. Uh, that's your mortar and pestle. And let's see. Uh, so now what I want to do is take this down and store it. And so We'll get the door off of here. And the way you, you preserve these things is you just hit the Y. So you point, you put your pointer right on what you want, and then you hit Y. And you can see that that, so if you go into your inventory, there it is right there. So that way you're not wasting materials. And it's an easy way to take a uh, shelter with you. So we'll take all of these out. It's just that easy, actually. And get out of the way here. Let's grab those. And grab that. And then we can grab our pillars. There, 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 and there. And you can see that we have them all stored on us. So I'm actually going to put those over here. And... <clears throat> in the crafting bench so it's just out of the way and it uh, is not cluttering up our inventory and our weight uh, issues so we'll put these in here and and this is a good way to use storage all of these particular benches have excess storage so if you like even in your porter and mestel, pestle uh, you have uh, extra storage space that you can throw stuff in. I think I've got this set up here. And I think that's about going to do it 
for this mission. Let me check something. Oh, I didn't quite level. Let's see if I can level and kind of that's one of the main purposes of playing this. So let me uh, chop a couple of trees down. That's usually pretty good for leveling and I need the materials anyway. So let me get over here. If there was a wolf around, I would take the wolf out. That's a that's another good way. There we go. That's all it took was just a couple of chops. All right, level 22. We've got, uh, uh, let's see, we got a talent point for, and then I think we got a solo talent point. So we did. Since it says solo, uh, I'm going to use this on, let's say, well, I'll pretty much fill most of this out. What I probably won't use, get down, is... Uh, maybe some some stuff like that down here toward the bottom, but for now, uh, increased scratch, big three increased wood, stone, and fiber yield. That's good. Uh, food buffs are good. Yeah, really, pretty much at this point. <clears throat> I think uh, I think I'll do <clears throat> added bonus to uh, my knives because I do a lot of melee. So let's put that there, and then we go over our other talent. <clears throat> we have a point to put in over here, and I think I want to put that in under resources so increased inventory weight is good yeah let's put that right there and then we have three blue po oh six six points available so I think uh, let's see here Nothing more into thatch. I just don't use thatch. I think we have oh ladder. Uh, I'm going to want a wood ladder because that is useful. Uh, so that gives us that. I I really don't build anything that requires that. So we're going to save that. Uh, we're not going to put anything into these luxury things right at the moment. So that's what we want on the tier one. Uh, I think the poison, we do use that from time to time, and the cooling bandage. All right, I think, oh, I want a bone sickle. So that gives us two left. Now, we get over here. Uh... Probably our herbalism bench so we can start utilizing it. Uh, we'll do that. And what else? I am thinking that we've got the iron knife. Uh, I think a steel pickaxe would probably be good because for the future. So let's go ahead and do that. So that takes care of our blueprints. Oh, I wish I had more, but that's okay. We're slowly getting, getting stuff. All right. Oh, I got to finish hacking this up. Anyway, I think that is about it. Uh, yeah, so that's that's kind of what I like to do. This this particular mission is good for leveling up. 
and I'm going to continue to level this character up. I'd like to get it leveled up to at least level 25 and then I'll start the next mission with it at level 25 which I believe is opening up one of the desert biomes. So I think with that we will call it good. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was worthwhile for you uh, and that uh, you kind of enjoyed the mission. If you do hit that thumbs up it always helps the channel and please subscribe and I'll be doing another uh, video probably in a couple of weeks on Icarus. I try to do one every every couple of weeks or so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, and prospectors, make sure you're not uh, stay. Make sure you're staying safe out there. Uh, with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.